turtles come ashore at night because they nest in the dark. The reason why they nest in the dark is because they are nocturnal animals and lights disturb them. Yeah. That's why they come ashore at night. The reason why we are using red lights for viewing turtles at night it is because turtles do not see the color red. Any other light type will disturb the animals while they are nesting. Okay. We do not use flash photography and I'm repeating this but I, I said this already at the briefing. So it meant that anybody who is using flash photography probably joined the group while we were coming out here. Because I think I took time to explain at length that the reason why we are out here tonight is to observe an ancient animal nesting. So I hope that all of us who would have taken time to come out here would appreciate that we are in the presence of an ancient animal and at least we should not do anything that will in any way disturb the animal while the animal is nesting. This is a leatherback sea turtle. For those of us who are seeing it for the very first time, this is a leatherback sea turtle. The reason why I am stressing sea turtle, it is because there are sea turtles, freshwater turtles. There are approximately 300 turtle species. Only seven are sea turtles. Sea turtles are found in all the oceans of the world. Sea turtles are found in all the oceans of the world. And this particular sea turtle species is the leatherback sea turtle. Now guys, if you don't, if you don't listen, you're going to be asking me questions on what I'm saying now down the road because you're going you're gonna to see everything, but just, just for a few minutes, we need to just focus on what's going on. This is a leatherback sea turtle. There are six other turtle species that are found in the oceans of the world. The six other species are green sea turtles. And it is not that the turtle is green in color, but the internal fat of the turtle is green. There's another species called the hawk's bill. If you think of the, 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 the birdie hawk, the, the mouth of that particular turtle has the appearance of the beak of a hawk. There are two species that are Ridley's, Olive Ridley and Kemp Ridley. There's a species that is the loggerhead sea turtle. And there's one species that lives exclusively around the island of Australia. It's called the, the Australian flatback. So there are only seven sea turtle species. This is one of the seven, the giant leatherback sea turtle. This is an animal that fully grown can exceed 2,000 pounds in body weight. And the animal can have a body length of over 11 feet. It's a massive animal. Leatherbacks live and occupied the planet when dinosaurs were here. It's an ancient species of sea turtle. And incidentally, guys, this is a sea animal, a sea creature that's on land now, tonight, and not dying. Why? Because leatherbacks, like you and I, possess lungs. They breathe oxygen just as you and I is exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide on land. These ancient reptiles are doing the same thing as we look at her. She has the ability out of the water to breathe freely so it means therefore that when she's in the water she's not breathing beneath the water leatherbacks hold their breath when they submerge and when they come to the surface they literally stick their heads out of the water they breathe through their mouths they open their mouths they inhale and as they resurface on that one breath they can stay down for as much as an hour on one breath phenomenal animals they are now what we are looking at is something referred to as nest disturbance and by that i mean this particular female in attempting to dig her nest as you guys will observe she's digging in to the sand and she's digging up eggs that were probably laid by another turtle nine to ten days ago this is typical to this particular beach in grand river because grand river beach is known globally as the highest density nesting site for leatherbacks. It is a one kilometer stretch of beach that supports as many as 500 nesting females on a nightly basis. No other sea turtle nesting site in the world is as used, is used as frequently by, uh, by leatherbacks as this one kilometer stretch of beach. The nesting season runs from March to August every year. It's a very extensive nesting period. 
It means therefore that by this time into the season, the beach will literally be littered with eggs. And as a consequence, this is occurring where a female leatherback in attempting to dig into the sand to create her nest is unfortunately destroying and disturbing another nest. The animal is doing this act of nest, nest creation purely out of instinct. She therefore has no way of knowing that she's digging into this soft egg. If I just show you something, guys. See this egg here? Everybody seeing this? See, I dropped it like this. It's intact. It's a soft egg. And because it's soft like the sand, the animal, as she digs into the sand, has no way of telling instinctively that she's destroying another nest. Now, for those of us who may become concerned about this egg, let me just point out something very quickly. As I rest, you guys seeing this? It looks like a microphone. When the egg falls into the nest, the hole that the leatherback is digging is called an egg chamber or a nest cavity. When the egg falls into the nest like this, the eggs are falling one upon the other because they are soft. After 12 hours passes, the nucleus within the egg attaches to the top on the side of the shell. There is an air pocket between the nucleus and the fluids within the egg. And after 12 hours passes, the nucleus begins to divide. And as it divides, eventually it forms the shape of an embryo and that embryo develops into a hatchling. After 12 hours, that cell division process begins. And any time the egg moves after 12 hours, the nucleus dislodges and the incubation stops. In addition to that, when the egg is buried beneath the sand, the sand temperature around the egg within the nest cavity has to be constantly between 29 to 31 degrees Celsius for the duration of the incubating period, which is 60 to 75 days. Anytime the egg is exposed, the temperature drops and incubation stops. So these eggs that's unfortunately being dug up by this turtle will not hatch. They are what we deem non-viable. That's rather unfortunate. Now, as this animal is digging into the sand, she's actually preparing a hole. The hole is called an egg chamber or a nest cavity. And when she's through digging the nest cavity, she's going to lay her eggs in the cavity. One female leatherback would lay on average 7 to 11 times in one season every 9 to 10 days. You guys heard me? 7 to 11 times every 9 to 10 days. And she, she, this individual animal, she will lay 7 to 11 times every 9 to 10 days. And the eggs that she's laying tonight will develop beneath the sand over a period of 60 to 75 days. It means, therefore, that when the eggs are laid tonight at a temperature that needs to be constantly between 27 to 31 degrees Celsius, those eggs will develop beneath the sand. They will take between three to five days to dig their way out of the sand to the surface. And after the babies hatch out beneath the sand and they dig their way out of that sandy nest to the surface, this is what appears. This is the byproduct of what this female is doing tonight. This is a baby leatherback, it's called a, a hatchling. It's actually about a couple days old. Some of the patrol officers found this hatchling as they was walking along the site. You would observe that it looks identical to the, the female leatherback. It has a very large front foot that's flapping like a bird. This baby leatherback, when she emerges from the sand, there is something magical and something mysterious about leatherback babies. And what is that? This particular hatchling, when she emerges from the sand, she instinctively orients towards the, the incoming waves. And she's going to travel by swimming out to sea. And there is the mystery that surrounds this particular species is leatherbacks are seen at two life stages. They are seen as adults, and then they are seen again as, as babies. No one knows, no one knows where leatherbacks go to grow. That is the mystery that surrounds this particular sea turtle species. You see them as this big girl here, and then you see them as this emerging hatchling here. The period between this size and this size, where leatherbacks are concerned, that is mysterious, mystical. Where do they go to grow? That is a million dollar question. Because of that, not much can be done 
to preserve these ancient dinosaurs. Leatherback hatchlings, unfortunately, don't live a very productive life. Out of every thousand babies that emerge from the sand, only one or two survives to become an adult. Just imagine that guy. Roughly about 2% of every thousand babies will successfully develop into an adult. The vast majority of the babies will be eaten by predators on land and as they enter the ocean. Now, you will instinctively suggest or feel that that's a bad thing. It's a bad thing because this little baby guy or girl is going to be eaten by a predator. So you assume that this is not something good. But let me also quickly point out that a leatherback sea turtle needs to eat twice its body weight in food every day. You guys hearing me? Leatherbacks needs to eat twice their body weight in food every single day. And remember, I told you that a leatherback sea turtle can assume a body size of over 2,000 pounds. So assuming that this leatherback here lays a thousand eggs for the season after she lays one of the different times, if all those eggs survive and become hatchling, eventually food will become a crisis for this animal. So nature in its wisdom knows that not all these eggs will successfully develop into babies. The vast majority of them will become food for other species and that's the cycle and circle of life. Now, what does leatherbacks eat? Anybody know? No. KFC, <laughs> Subway, jellyfish. Leatherbacks are what we call jellyvores. Like you have herbivores and omnivores and carnivores. Leatherbacks are jellyvores. And by jellyvores, I give you a clue. They eat jellyfish, as somebody rightfully said. But what's important to know is
so you know man? Hello. You afraid of them? So the best way to go. No, you can't. Fabulous. Perfect wonderful. Look at that. Got him? Okay, guys.